It's afterburn review time today in the Spicicus household and today I have another pod courtesy of Daniel Wallace El Diablo's Chili Farm I'll put the business email in the description today another pepper that I have not tried before this is called the Sugar Rush Peach Pod very little information on this pod all I know is it's from Peru and it's not a super hot so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it there I have different types of sugar peach uh, sugar rush peaches here but I'm gonna come to the camera because take a look at some of these pods like for example this one look at the tail on this guy that's a gnarly tail right there look at that also this one same thing with the tail this is the largest one here that I'm gonna eat for you guys much larger than its uh, than its brothers and sisters not as big of a tail but also look at the top and how it has that peach color is basically blended into the top it's got that peach color there looks pretty cool remove that little top there because I'm not eating that part I am cutting open the biggest one with this dull knife Ooh, it smells good. It smells very sweet. Again, look at that. That's a pretty big placenta there. Good size wall too. Decent amount of seeds. Some of them have turned black, but oh well. Here we go with the sugar rush peach. Slight tingle on the tongue. The heat is building. It's certainly it's hotter than a uh, and in the Aleppo by far. Hmm. That's got a, actually some pretty good kick to it. Of course, it was a, a larger pepper too. Got some seeds stuck in my teeth again. There is a decent amount of heat on that one actually. Much more than I was expecting. The flavor, I was trying to, I've been trying to compare that flavor for the last you know a minute or so my first instincts tell me it almost reminds me a little of celery it has a little bit of that flavor it's not floral but at the same time I wouldn't classify it totally as fruity it's got some characteristics of a fruitiness but it's more so almost like celery which is odd. I'm building a little bit of a sweat although it might also have to do with the fact that I'm filming in summer and the windows are closed. Hmm. I mean the burn is still there but it's it's not it's not any type of emergency burn at all. It's a pleasurable one. I'm not sure how much in Scoville's this is, but considering that I am salivating a lot, you know, I, I would put it, I would put it near, um, at least for that particular pepper because that was a, a larger one. It could be on par with maybe, I don't know, hundred thousand ish, at least for that pot it might generally be way below that but you know what let's cut this one open I'm curious I am curious 
See, this one is not nowhere close to as big a placenta. It's just a little shrivel, a uh, little bit of white in there, a little bit of seeds. The blade is a little bit of oil. That one's actually a little sweeter. Maybe that is a little floral I'm detecting. That one's nowhere close to being as hot. So it really does depend on the size of the pod. I mean, that's just reconfirming that one. Size of the pod, size of that placenta with the seeds. You saw the first one where the seeds are just, or the, the placenta was just, you know, pretty damn large. The second one, um, nowhere close to being as large. It tries to get a little bit of kick at the end. A little bit of kick, just trying to say, hey, I am actually kind of spicy to people. But overall, it's, it's not too bad. I think heat-wise, I would give this somewhere around a I would say a 5. I'll say a 5 out of 10. Um, maybe I'm even being generous there. I'm actually not too sure. I'm still trying to figure out my uh, heat scale just for the record. But again a big thank you to Daniel Wallace El Diablo's Chili Farm for sending me this. If you've had a Sugar Rush Peach before I'm not sure how many people have. I think I've only seen maybe one video of a Sugar Rush Peach review, hence why there's not so much info out there. But if you've somehow had one, uh, what are your thoughts on it? Would you want to try one of these after the information I've given you in this video? Um, heat's, still, heat's still there for the record, but maybe also because I ate a second one here on camera for you guys. That's all for this video guys. Embrace that pain. I'll see you in the next video.